Monday morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I'm Coach Ingrid Hughes, the CEO and founder of Team Life Changers, where we change lives every single day, starting with our own. You all know I come to you every Friday morning that the Lord allows between 7 a.m. and 7.15 a.m. Eastern Time with a little series that I like to call What I Learned This Week. And what I learned this week is distraction and shame are thieves. Don't let them enter when they come a-knocking. If you've been here for a while, then you already know. But if you're new here, first, welcome. And then secondly, just so you know, I am an entrepreneur whose job it is, is to bless others with the gift of health and wellness through portable at-home fitness and nutrition. But I don't do it alone. There's a whole team of us. And I don't know if, if, if that's something that you like doing things together, but we're growing. So stay tuned if that's something that the Lord is placing on your heart, because I have some things I want to talk to you about later. But in business, especially as an entrepreneur, just like in our um, respective health and wellness journeys, distraction can easily creep in like a thief in the night and steal your momentum. It's low down partner and crying shame teams up with distraction to hold you down so that while one is sucker punching you the other one is kicking you while you're down as a health and wellness coach my success partner and i host a weekly zoom um, with our uh, participants in our current monthly wellness support group and those who participate who feel like coming it's not mandatory but those who want to come who want to see success will show up in our respective wellness uh, support community. And we love hearing those victory reports. It's a privilege to hear them and share them. So on this past Sunday, one of the teammates, and yes, I do call the participants teammates because we're right there in the trenches doing the same thing with them. We're all in this journey together. So one of the teammates on this Sunday's call shared how grateful she was that we never gave up on her because distraction and shame crept up on her and kept her down, but not out. She shared that now that she's focused, she's using all of the fitness and nutrition tools that we had given her all along. And she has lost 20 pounds since November. I'm not gonna share her name because I always promise anonymity, but let's congratulate her even though you don't know who she is. <laughs> she has had these tools in her arsenal for the entire time, but distraction covered her eyes while shame hid the tools in plain sight. That's exactly what happens to us frequently in business with entrepreneurship because there's no one forcing you to show up and do the work every day. Distraction and shame, team up. They make you think everyone else who's seeing success is luckier than you or that they have better training than you, that they have a better upline than you. <laughs> the endless things that they think that you have secrets or whatever it is better than you or than they do <laughs> it's endless and so that devilish duo distraction and shame help you create that negativity in your mind that keeps you from seeing the very tools that are in plain sight for you simply put they keep you from doing the work that's necessary for you to succeed so here's this week's call to action when that devilish duo of distraction and shame comes knocking and they will don't let them enter how though Ingrid you know I'm glad you asked <laughs> remember about two weeks ago right here on a Friday when I talked to you about an impact journal and if you haven't seen it go back and watch the replay and then it'll make sense to you but if you did see it then you know I'm talking about that impact journal you know that little journal where you write down daily the lives that you have positively impacted and what they did and how you did it? Have you started it yet? If you didn't see that video, again, go back and watch the replay. Oh, what's that? You saw the video, but you haven't started it yet because that dynamic devilish duo made you forget? <laughs> no worries. Start it today. See, the devilish duo will always be lurking, but our impact journal will be there to keep us focused and to help us to keep our eye on why we do what we do 
and keep pressing onward. Some people's lives may actually depend on it. Speaking of which, I'm still on this quest to positively change the lives all over the world, and I need some help. So if you live in the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, or France, and you feel like the Lord is leading you to bless other people, and you claim that you're a lady leader or a man who leads, you're ready to hit the ground running, you're a self-starter, <laughs> and you're somebody who's coachable, let's talk because I want to see if, if you are a good fit for Team Life Changers and if Team Life Changers is a good fit for you. Now listen, I have jury duty today and um, I'm not feeling so good about it because you all know I've been germaphobic since I was a teenager, <laughs> so being that close to other people is uh, giving me a little bit of stress. So, but anyway, I'm going to do it. I'm going to step out of my comfort zone and do the things that are necessary. And I want you to do the same. God loves you and so do I. Have a blessed and healthy day, week, and rest of this month. See ya. Off the jury duty. Bye now.